The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> good morning, good morning. What's happening? We've got a cool bike over here. Got Alan's right over here, right up front. Cool bike. He's jumping on the live. I was nervous. I wanted to go over here and check out this Camaro that just pulled in. Really nice Camaro. 40? I know, I thought about it. Too cold. I thought you were doing that. Uh, open the hood on this puppy, sir. Well, you know what? I got, I got a left wing that's bad, so I'm... Okay, well, you pop it, I'll, I'll pop it. You pull it. <laughs> I just got out of it. Beautiful Camaro. You're going to let this guy touch your car? Holy mackerel. You know. Oh, my God. Hey, I drive, I drive okay. tractors through I'm his okay. houses. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, he drives tractors through my house. Oh, my so. goodness yeah, no gracious. I really, like the, front, front I really like the color of this. This is kind of an unusual color to see these in. It's a stock color. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Huh. Uh, this is his uh, Copal. Copal clone? Last generation. Gen 5. Gen 5 M22. Nice car. It's a really nice car. When I saw, when I saw it pull it. Oh, really? It's brand, this is the first time out. Wow. Virgin Red. That's a. Sound good. I think I got four. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Wow. Maybe 41. So what rear gear did you put in here? Four tens. Four tens. Yeah, so going down the, going down the coast highway, I'm like uh, 60 miles an hour at 25. Yeah, you kind of want to say... Uh, Frustration? Okay. 41. Well, uh, explain me. It's pretty fresh. <laughs> really good looking car. Did it start out as an RS car? Yes. It's originally an RS. It was bought at Connell Chevrolet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, was it originally this color also? No, it was uh, a light, the light blue. I forget what they called it. But that was my decision that the color of this dust blue. Dust blue. Yeah, it's a really cool color. I, I can't say I've seen too many of them in this that's color. That's why I like doing it. Yeah. And, when you pulled in, I'm like, man, that's a really good color on that car. And I really like how you painted the, the dog dish wheels that color too. Really, it looks really, makes the car pop with those dog dishes yeah, it's on it. It's old school. Yeah, That's I really I like it. You don't mind me asking, what uh, offer did you run? <laughs> Beautiful car. How long uh, have you been working on it or restoring it? Two years. Wow. So. What did the car look like when you got it? That was in good shape. Was it? It only had like 61,000 original miles on it. Wow. Hey, thanks. And you were just like, I want like a Copo kind of clone. Is yeah. that kind of what you're going for? Right. Wow. Right. Yeah, it's really nice. Man, it's nice. It sure is nice inside, too. It 
just blue. Man, good looking car. Festus mode. David, what's going on, David? Man, what a great looking car. Man, that's pretty. All right, should we move? Let's do it. Tim, good morning, Tim. What's happening? Let's do it. Sean's ride. Good looking galaxy. You galaxy fans. Morning, Jerry. What's going on, Jerry? Freezing Kansas. Ooh, a little chilly. What's the uh, temp in Kansas, Jerry? Good morning, Tom from Illinois. What's going on, Tom? Thank you for watching, sir. One of my favorite rides. Jeff Jones. What's going on, Jeff? One of my favorites is this baby here. Love the sound when he rolls in. Oh, I wanted to go over here and check this thing out. All right, so let's do it on the live. There's that. What was that comment? Let's go back there. Steve, I appreciate that. 41 below. Brr. Here in Montana. Holy mackerel, that is a little chilly. That is a little chilly. A bow tie rain supreme. Jim, what's going on, Jim? ECH pony. That thing's so cool. Yeah. Cool, you do all the work yourself? No, I have a buddy. That's your buddy. Uh, I started doing this stuff when I got older. All right, this wagon. I don't know this gentleman's name. Let's patina it out. I want to make sure Ed goes over and sees that Copo clone, though. That's one thing I want to make sure. It's the best experience of everything I've ever done. Love a wheel on this thing, too. Lou, what's going on, Lou? How much is the wagon? Oh, yeah, so I want to get this gentleman to when he's done talking. I think it's 41. Let's get over here and get a better look at it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, what do you think for us? Yeah. But yeah, the camper and then. I think it's 42, but once this gentleman's done hawking here, three, is that a three on tree? Let's get a. Can you tell us about it? I've already talked to you. Alright, so, um. What? Dan, 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 Dan,
Said Danny, right? Oh yeah. Oh Steve. Steve, nice to meet you. You too. So let's uh, <laughs> let's. Do you want to go through the wagon and kind of tell us about it a little bit? Sure. All right. Probably about uh, five years ago, the uh, on a fairgrounds from a guy from Europe. Actually, it was this cruiser when he came out here. Okay. Once I uh, had my second daughter, my C10 was not big enough for us, so we uh, <laughs> had to get some longer and more seats. All right. That's what we got, but I, I had a LQ9 engine that was built. I was going to put in the truck, and uh, luckily I held on to it before I put it in there, and then I decided we're going to do it here. So, but all the stuff's kind of been done in sheer performance. Justin Shear, it was custom made, and I was in um, Lakewood, Long Beach area. So it's got a six liter. So six liter LQ9. Um, okay. The 4L80 E transmission, automatic, overdrive, Wilwood disc brakes uh, all the way around with booster. Um, <laughs> Ride tech air, ride suspension, four wheel, uh, curry nine, curry uh, rear end, fuel tanks and baffled with the uh, uh, fuel pump in there. See, everything's pretty original. I actually just threw some clear coat over it. Oh, okay, it so years ago. sanded and, and cleared kind of, it. Yeah, well, actually, we just kind of left it, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Just kind okay. Of just to keep it, uh, just keep us from not rusting, kind of just, but. Uh, just been haven't used it enough, and I feel guilty seeing it sitting there, you know, in the garage and stuff. So we're on to motor homing and camping. So we said it's time to uh, see what people are looking for out there. But yeah, so um, it's so it's cleared. cleared. It's got a six liter. Um, it's bag. It's, it's bag. got steel yeah. wheels. Powder coated the the frame. Um, we cleaned up the bottom. Welded any kind of like brackets and needed or any kind of uh, support beams needed. Welding and then we sprayed it with a. Um, a truck, uh, truck liner, like a rhino liner, kind of spray underneath, and then the uh, inside too, and then threw the carpet down on top of it. So it's kind of uh, helps the soundproof and kind of keep it a little more. But just kind of focus more on just that kind of stuff as opposed to the outside. Just kind of left it. And, yeah. Um, is it you're asking 42 on here? Is that right? That's my yeah. That's my more best offer price. I mean, you yeah. know how it goes. You end up getting a lot of money into it. Probably you know a decent amount more than that. But right. Of course. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> what what the market's asking for, so. Right. Um, and they don't see too many, so it's kind of hard to kind of gauge it, but. Right. I'm Can we see under the hood of it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. It's got, it got, up, a, yeah. got AC? Yeah, vintage AC. I like how you patina yeah, the, the intake. That's cool. Yeah. We ran the AC awesome. through the, the well and stuff. Through the, through the, through the, through the firewall. Yeah. But, uh, Smooth, yeah, smooth the firewall. Cool. It looks nice. It's, it's fun, man. It's, it's fun. I want something to make it reliable. It's got rack and pinion steering. You know, uh, it's a cruiser. It just goes around to quick speed. So. Yeah, I bet. I, I mean, with the six liter, it's pretty quick. Yeah. I'm sad to put it up, but I kind of, like I said, I felt more guilty to see it sitting there and that's, you know, right. using the motorhome. That's our main thing to do as opposed to going to car shows, doing anything with this. So, yeah. Gonna... Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. It's a good looking, it's a good looking wagon. It's a really nice wagon. Awesome. Well, I'll, what I'll do is I'll I'll walk around and finish this, and I'll come back and I'll do like a couple other little videos, and I'll post it too. I cool. It. Yeah. Awesome. Good. Cool. Good deal. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, it doesn't matter. It, whatever. It's up to you. I'll I'll finish doing this around, and I'll come back. Okay. Yeah, it's up to you. Well, it's it's hard to do that. Um, because then we have to go back and forth, so I need to figure out something for that, for the individual ones. So uh, when I'm doing individual ones like that, it's kind of hard to do that. Um, 
So I'll have to figure out something for that. But you're right, I need to figure out something specifically for that. For the microphone situation. See you guys. Have fun. Have a good weekend. Morning. George's ride. Will's truck. <laughs> Got a convertible 442. That's cool. I will say that the uh, aftermarket is really cool. Convertible 442. Yeah, it's hard to do that and go back and forth. But, yep, I'll work on that. Spide of 50 olds. Adrian. You got. Looking 56. Chuck there. Yeah, you got 49 olds there. Got some details of it on the window there. We got two 55s right next to each other. This one had some cool speakers. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Like some 80s or 90s stuff. This one's kind of cool. It's got a cool sparkle steering wheel. So flake in it. It's kind of cool. I love the steering wheel that he has, that Michael's got. It's got like some cool inlay stuff in it. Victoria, BC, driving from the Roadster Show in Pomona. Visit you Saturday, February 3rd. Awesome. That's what I'm looking 
got Mater rolling out. Nice. song that made the most money. <laughs> that makes cool. Thing pulling in right behind it. So there you go. Lots of Fords. We don't discriminate around here. Hardly wait to get back. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I have a friend. The Dodge Polara. This thing's pretty crazy. Smelled some race gas when this baby went by. Living in nowhere, Kansas. Well, the bumpers are painted on this. Kind of an interesting one. This is something broken. You can see it. that thing here several times and uh very interesting Ooh, I want to go see the 68 the 68 road runner let's go work our way around and check it out Let's go around the Tacoma here and check it out. Sixty-eight Roadrunner. There you go. Good, I liked it. 
<laughs> Paris, France or Paris, California? Well, I think they're both pretty awesome. That was also a joke. Nice car. What do you think? Morning. <laughs> Temperatures negative 41 with wind chill. Holy jeez. Cody, oh Jesus Christ. Wow, that's a little chilly. Sorry about that, sir. That is a little, little, little chilly. Got lose right over here. You definitely cannot drive a car without wind windows. That is for sure. Good showing in the uh, Mopar Alley today. Man, when this baby pulled in, oh boy. This thing was the best around. This thing sounded amazing. This one. 68 GTX. So these are things, little things that I learned from the Mopar guys. And again, when it comes to Mopar stuff, I don't know. I don't know shit. So these are just things I learned from them. Anytime you see the little circles like this, it's automatically a 68 for any of the Mopar stuff. Because I guess they didn't know what to do for uh, DOT compliance that year. So they just grabbed this and kind of threw it on. So anytime you see a Mopar vehicle and you're not sure what year it is, if there's a circle one of these circle guys on it, it's automatically a 68. It's a good rule of thumb that they that they told me. So this is not something I'm telling you that I know. I'm just this is me regurgitating information to you. So it's not air. It's hard. Now, if I've ever seen an awesome mud flap, that's it. Now see, now you're just trying to confuse people by putting a 68 side marker on a 66 Le Mans. <laughs> now you're just trying to mess with people. <laughs> now you're just trying to screw with people. I think we're gonna finish this up, and I think uh, you guys are right. I need to figure out a way to get the microphone thing situated so I could kind of take it off and go from it's on here to talking to somebody a little bit better. So I need to work on that. So you guys are right. That was a really nice F100. So, uh, to jump off and get some video around some cars so I could post that stuff to Instagram. And that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you guys can jump over to our YouTube page and like that, that'd be awesome. Thanks for watching. <laughs>